two double crochets separated by chain one and the splitting it's optional you can decide to split in the exact middle or i just prefer to leave some space in between it's my preference but however you want it it's still your way so chain up four to begin the next row put a double crochet in the following double crochet chain up four single crochet in the middle chain up four once again double crochet in the very first double crochet for the two clusters there chain up two put three double crochets in the space because you are beginning a new leaf because this has finally ended chain up two put three double crochets over here sorry two double crochets over here chain up three single crochet in the space single crochet in the middle and single crochet in the space after chain up three double crochet here two times chain up two put a double crochet on top of this because this is finally done and we are beginning a new type of leaf so this is a it's kind of something that holds it chain up two and put two double crochets here chain up three single crochet in the space single crochet in the middle and single crochet in the space after chain up three put two double crochets in the final double crochet and this basically repetition all the way down nothing changes for this row when you get to this splitting side you just create your new uh, leaf as usual you know what to do for the sec second section so i'll repeat this get here and the rest is in your hands you just have to continue all the way to the other side of the splitting so chain two this is where you put your three double crochets because this leaf has ended and needs a new leaf to grow on top so you chain up two and double crochet skip this one double crochet over here chain up four single crochet in the middle chain up four once again double crochet in the very first double crochet for the two clusters chain up two I'm going to continue with your new leaf which sprang out so you put two double, double crochets in the very first double crochet you chain two put two double crochets in the in the you chain up one double crochet on top of that double crochet line on it when you chain one put two double crochets for the beginning and then you chain up two and put your last two double crochets over here and that's how it basically works all around so i'll meet you at where we split it which i'll be placing my stitch marker so that you don't miss out I ended my row with a double crochet chain one and double crochet into where i stitch marked and basically you are going to do this so you are satisfied with the splitting of the v area so we are going to repeat this for a whole section nothing changes except that when you are getting to this part the ends where you're supposed to split you do the right splitting so that it keeps spreading out and the wideness is intact so you all know when to split when you take this section when this is the first this is the second this the third section is when you split so this is the first the one with the three double crochets inside this is the second stage and then the third stage the third stage is when you split the middle and it applies to every corner and that's basically how to keep moving for this design until you are satisfied with the splitting of the next so i'm not going to figure out this and i'll meet you when i'm done with the whole splitting and then we work on the next section so basically guys i'm going to give you a few demonstration but the only difference is that this leaf ends and you are not going to continue again because we need excessive slanting for the v-neck that's how i call it so i chained up uh, three for this row i'm going to put a double crochet here in the next on top of the next double crochet you chain up two 
skip this whole part and double crochet on the standalone double crochet right there and basically you chain to this is a three double crochet we place on top of the design that just got finished so you're going to create your design again put two double crochets in the first chain two skip the middle put two double crochets in the last and then you are still continue with your leaf pattern as i said this ends and that's how it ends there i'll show you what to do in the next row but everything begins to do the same until i told you that you'll be splitting here and i'm going to put my stitch marker there so i'll meet you at that split and every splitting that happens here happens here too happens here too until you get to the very last which i'll also be placing my stitch marker because you will end in that leaf pattern there also to get the v-shape more excessively spreading i'll meet you here at a green stitch marker mm -hmm. so where i stitch mark and you all know this leaves are also forming so i'll basically do double crochets chain three and single crochet in the chain two from the previous row chain three put your last two double crochets over there and this is where the stitch marker is so i'm going to remove and that's when you start splitting to split you chain one put your total of three double crochets separated by chain one spaces so you swiftly do that and then you chain one double crochet two times in that first double crochet for the two clusters in the same space you chain up four single crochet in the middle sorry you chain up three instead single crochet in the middle and then put your last two double crochets here and basically you're going to repeat is there still the repetition this pod here closes up and you begin any one in the next row and you're going to do this and as i told you the splitting happens only at the end so i'm going to stitch mark all the ends and that's what you have to do basically you are also going to split here at the middle and then i'll meet you here because i'm going to fast forward and everything is kind of repetition and basically at the end where i place my stitch marker this is the whole section of design that will end and i've already placed my double crochet and i've chained up my two i'm going to remove my stitch marker and put a double crochet in that very first on top of that very first double crochet chain one and double crochet and to the last double crochet and that's how the v is so i told y'all that when this pineapple ends you are going to leave it at it so that you get the v feature this is actually a v spacing feature and you are going to actually split so you are satisfied with the splitting for the v neck feature and as time goes by this place builds up because you are working downwards like this and so that's basically it i'm not going to bore you with re repetition i just wanted to make sure that i explained this side well that when it ends you continue you don't create any leave you continue with the design when it's time for you to split at the corners please split and i showed y'all the technique of how to split make sure you have your stitch markers around if you always forget like me it's going to be an issue so i'm basically going to show you how to continue this row and basically you you are going to continue from there so i chained up four and normally put a double crochet here and you put it here too so that you, you build up another space and for the new leaf which we are not going to create so i'm going to just put a double crochet there skip this double crochet over the chain two and continue with my next leaf design and that's it basically so we are not going to continue this new leaf you, with the next row you continue with double crochet on top and then it will be two double crochets like that all the way down to make sure that the leaf the v is spreading i hope you get it so i'm continuing with my new leaf i'm putting two double crochets in the beginning you chain up three single crochet in the middle chain up three once again put your two double crochets in the last chain up two as usual this is going to close up so you put a double crochet here you chain up two skip this whole pole put a double crochet here voila you have closed up this but you will still continue 
to elo to get um to build up a new leaf for this section the only neck area is the difference and that's basically it you are going to do your regular rules you are not going to split you guys know when to split you split when you get to the third section of the leaf at the edge so i'm going to repeat this all the way down i'm not going to bore you i'll meet you at the end now the ending for this row is going to be we are approaching the leaf that is going to actually end so as usual i chained up to double crocheted in the middle and usually you just double crochet here and here but i'm going to skip that and chain up to double crochet in third space for the last chain actually the chain wasn't long enough I chained up three instead of four, which is an error that you should correct when making yours. But this is basically it. And so as I told you, you are not going to continue with this uh, already uh, finished, already finished leaf design. So to do that, you just chain for one, two, three, four. You just double crochet on top of the next double crochet. You are going to keep that double crochet straight edge till you are done with the splitting and you feel like the neck is enough to um, cover most of your neck area and basically this part keeps spreading and it keeps this part keeps elongating and that's it how basically it's going to be so when you are satisfied with the v neck aspect you are now going to reattach which i'll be showing you in the next episode so now i'm just going to leave you guys here to figure out but keep in mind to always split that's the issue and let me show you a little demonstration this is for the row i skipped i placed three double crochets here and then the middle keeps on um remains the same and then three double crochets you treat this as a new leaf you know usually to bring out the new leaf design or the new leaf stem design but um, as time goes by and it's developing you will now start splitting there and that's basically how all the edges happens that's why your stitch markers are always around to keep you intact for it to expand more for the coverage so i'll just be repeating back and forth anytime my design the new leaf i'm creating and i will not continue i'll just uh, I'll not continue a new leaf. I'll just treat it and do it as I did here Treat it that way and double crochet and repeat this whole pattern I'm talking too much till the end of the row. So I'll meet you and I know you guys are genius So you are going to figure this out because this is pretty easy. So guys, basically this is how wide I went along my splitting and you actually have to measure your neckline how much coverage you want for your neckline i wanted about um, four inch for each side and it's actually stretchy so when you make the straps it stretches enough for it to fit four inch and that's basically it and when you measure the sides it's actually 15 inch but i can stretch enough to 16 and above which is also okay and i think i am not really um i don't really have big busts so if this doesn't really fit you you have to continue repeating several rows till you are satisfied for your bust area coverage so you are going to move to the next section and what you have to do is to just chain one which i've already did and cut off with your pair of scissors and we are now going to reattach to this corner section and work this way you work from here to here which you can actually stitch mark a short disclaimer for you also is that you always have to end at a section where you split it to three this is a tip for you but actually it's not really compulsory you can end um with a one split but the three splits actually is best for you so that you can actually split into two for these sides and still continue with your three splitting for the middle side so you keep on expanding and then you also extend the coverage to your back and basically that's how it works 
so this part goes up elongated and it covers most of your down aspects and this side also expands so we actually split it into three and that's how we ended and i'm just going to place my stitch marker at the middle of the three double crochets separated by chain one and i'm also going to place my stitch marker at the side as well the middle of the three double crochets separated by chain one spaces and that's basically how i'm going to reattach to join to extend the coverage and you all know so let's secure the air enough i'm going to reattach over here so this is where i'm going to reattach the green aspect and basically this is what you're gonna do you're just going to take your hook and make a slip knot just pull tighten up slip stitch into the middle of the chain um the three double crochets over there so you just do a slip stitch you can now take off the stitch marker because it won't be needed now and basically you're going to work downwards so to work downwards you just chain up one two three four Put three double crochets here if it was normal rows you would have placed three double crochets here and then a chain and then double crochet in the middle and then three double crochet but since we are working this side you just put three double crochets in this next double crochet swiftly so put your three double crochets there and then you chain up two as usual this is another design forming on its own and this design you just place your double crochet two times in the very first double crochet you chain up one two three four you chain up three instead i always chain four you single crochet in the space you single crochet in the middle and then you single crochet in the next piece you chain up three again you double crochet into the last double crochet two times and basically that's it you are going to repeat the row till you get to the middle you're still gonna split as usual how you <laughs> you're still gonna split as usual but you are going to continue with your leaf design nothing changes from design is already done so you are going to put a double crochet in the middle so that you can start up a new leaf or a new design you chain up two double crochet two times into this you chain up three single crochet in the middle of the chain two chain up three once again put two double crochets in the very last double crochet for this design gradually about to close up this you just chain up two double crochet here you chain up two skip this whole pod and double crochet here basically repetition all the way down this is another leave we are starting you already have your three double crochets here so you put two double crochets in the first double crochet you chain two put your final two at the last double crochet for the three consecutive double crochet and that's basically it guys you are going to repeat all the way to where you split it you know what to do i'll just give you a demonstration there and then you repeat normally till you get here so i'll give you a demonstration at where i've stitched mark and this is where you are going to stop. So I'll meet you at the green stitch mark, please. We are now at where the green stitch mark marker is. This is what I did. I just placed two double crochets. I chained up and single crochet three in the middle as usual. Chained up and put my last two double crochets in that space. I'm approaching where the three clusters of double crochets are separated by chain one spaces in that is where you are going to do your splitting so chain one double crochet into the very first double crochet for the splitting add another two double crochets in the same exact space making a total of three separated by chain two 
you can now remove your stitch marker because it's the exact middle for the splitting so you put your double crochet on top of that and then you chain up to double crochet three times into the final double crochet so y'all know i know you guys can figure this out this is how we basically this is just repetition so you are going to continue with your design chain up to put a total of two double crochet in the very first double crochet for the design you chain up three single crochet into the very first piece into the middle and then into the next you chain up three double crochet two times into the last double crochet for these two clusters and then basically you are forming out your design swiftly just do this swiftly chain up to we have already ended this so you are going to put your double crochet there which serves as a base for a new design you chain up to you are forming up another design you just put up your two double crochets here you chain up three single crochet in the middle of the chain two chain up three again double crochet two times into the last double crochet and then you chain up two about to end this leaf you just put your double crochet there you chain up to skip this whole part put your double crochet over there to close up finally and i'll meet you at the orange stitch marker so guys we are finally at where the orange stitch marker is I repeated the design as it's supposed to be and just chain up to double crochet three times into this double crochet and where the stitch marker is is the exact middle and that's where you are going to end so just chain one and put your last double crochet over there and that is it you are basically going to work repetitively the usual thing all over so you get to this place as so and you keep on re repeating row for enough coverage so that the back expands as i told you and meets as well so you are going to do a couple more rows like plenty rows except that you still need to be splitting here it's very important you keep up your two splitting so here so i'm gonna continue by chaining up four of course this is a new leaf that has sprung so you put two double crochets in the very first you chain two and then skip the middle put two double crochets in the very last chain up two this is another leaf developing on its own you are going to skip this is the section where you skip the first and double crochet into the next and then you chain up four single crochet in the middle chain up four double crochet into the first to close up the design and you're going to continue this 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 section you just chain up two this is a new leaf you are going to create you put three double crochets on in, on top of the one double crochet line you chain up two again and this is another leaf developing on its own you just put two double crochets in the very first double crochet and you chain up three single crochet in the space in the middle and then in the space after you chain up three double crochet two times in the last double crochet basically repetition guys you chain two double crochet on top chain two once again put two double crochets here a new leaf that is bringing up you chain up four single crochet in the middle chain up let's say four three instead single crochet in the middle you chain up three again put your two double crochets in the very last and that's the that's basically it when you get here you know what to do these are new leaves bringing up you are still going to continue with what you would regularly do in the second portion of a new leaf but you still maintain your 
one double crochet until it's time for you to split which will be the row after this so three splitting happens only here and we're going to make enough rows to cover um, your down aspect so I'm going to fast forward I'm not going to make this video long all you have to do is to keep repeating make sure you split when is the right time which I've been explaining most of the time in the video so you know what to do it's always the tear section of a new leaf towards the end that's when you split here and the two splitting still maintains here whenever you are done with a leaf when the leaf develops and you are done you create a new leaf again and basically that's what you're going to do this is going to remain the same yeah it's going to remain the same because this is the bust portion and we are just basically making this a little longer to join at the back and make this longer as well so that we can work on the back portion so i'll meet you at the end so guys i did repeat several rows so that when i join it fits my back so this is how it looks so far i repeated a, a lot of rows i i really don't count my rows i just uh, make sure i get the exact measurements i need so let me measure this for you in inches and let's see how much i got i got about 25.5 inch for mine let's see here it's about 15 inch long and it's stretchy so you don't have to worry and for this separation my bust is actually small so you don't need to follow you can still expand to get a more wider coverage that's why here looks a little bit smaller but i did a lot of rules so that when i join at the back here i'll be able to work around several times so after i work around you realize that this part keeps expanding and the back also keeps expanding so i ended actually here and what i'm going to do now is to just slip stitch to join so let me just put my hook here i'm going to join at the other aspect the opposite sides like this with a basic slip stitch i'm just going to count to the test piece for the very first chain and do a basic slip stitch I'm going to work around just basically repeating the pattern i taught you so to begin this it's a finished pattern on its own as you can see and we'll still be continuing it but the very bottom will still be splitted you'll still be splitting here when you need to so i'm going to chain up one two three four five add an additional one double crochet in the middle so just place one double crochet in the middle so that you know how to continue and this is basically optional because everyone's own will end in another way so it's up for you to improvise this is how i ended the first section has its leaf already closing up so i'm going to put a double crochet it actually changes from here you will just continue with your design so i'll chain two as usual this is another leaf forming on its own i'll put two double crochets in the very first piece chain three single crochet in the middle chain three double crochet two times in the last chain two double crochet in this double crochet chain two skip the whole pod and double crochet here so this is very repetitive you are just going to continue your party make sure you chain up two always when doing it that's the beauty of this pattern i just love it continue the pattern all the way around till you get to where the stitch marker is i actually ended with a split and a three splits i'm going to create um stitches here and stitches here and remain and then maintain the normal double crochet in the middle i'll still show you and then i'll continue and I'll show you how to slip stitch to join at this aspect. Now, at where I always place my stitch marker, which constitutes the middle of the design. So, 
so that's how the back is looking so far we are going to work as i told you and then slip stitch to join we'll be working enough till we are satisfied with the back coverage as well as the length of the dress put just remove my sticker my stitch marker sorry put two, uh, three double crochets in the very first double crochet chain two double crochet in the middle chain two two double crochets th sorry three double crochets in the next double crochet and i still keep my stitch marker because that is where you split and it's really important and i might miss it so i'm going to continue all normally regularly till i get to this place and i'll show you how to join getting to the end i place a double crochet on this leaf because it's almost done and we are going to create another one so after that i chain i'll chain up three skip this double crochet and slip stitch directly into the tear space for the chain six we made from the beginning of the row so this is how i basically join and you are going to start begin your new row and nothing changes unless you are splitting that's why i always put my blue stitch marker there so to begin the next row you are going to chain up four instead of three put a double crochet three double crochet in this standalone double crochet because you are basically starting a new leaf on top of that you chain up two you are still working on your next design which is this side so after chaining up two you just regularly put your two double crochets chain three single crochet in the space the middle and the next space and then you chain up your three again and put your two double crochets at the end so basically i'm going to repeat this so i get to this side and there will be no splitting and then i'll continue so i'll meet you at where the blue stitch marker is <laughs> So when you get to where the blue stitch marker is also there will be no split and i already showed you how you guys are going to split um when it's time for you to split so you chain two put two double crochets in the very first double crochet chain two skip the middle and put two double crochets in the last double crochet you are creating your new leaf splitting for the side to side of course the uh, middle still remains the same so after chaining up to you are now going to remove your stitch marker and put a double crochet in the seam um, because it's not time for you to split yet the next row actually will be the splitting row so you chain two and put two double crochets in the very first double crochet you chain two and put your last two double crochet um, after skipping the next um yeah you are going to basically do your the same repetition as you have been doing until you get to the end of the row and i will meet you there finally at the end of the row as usual after completing this design on its own you just chain up two double crochet three times into the new leaf you are creating so double a double crochet on top of that double crochet chain two again slip stitch into the third chain for this so basically you are going to repeat nothing else changes what you are doing is that you are going to expand the back coverage even though here remains this shape you also reattach after you are satisfied with the length you reattach and work sideways to keep a flat base so I'm going to do several rows repetitively and you know you have to split at the middle place my blue stitch marker so the next row we are basically about to do will consist of a splitting in the middle by putting three double crochets separated by chain one in where the stitch marker is which is the exact middle so there will be a splitting as i told you when you get to the third section of a new leaf which happens side and side you have to split in the middle so 
I'm going to skip a, a whole lot of process. I'm going to do several rows, and then when I'm satisfied with the length that I want to achieve, I'll show you what to do for your next section. So keep on repeating till you are satisfied with your particular length, and then we work um, the next section. So guys, this is the section I've arrived at now. I went around and made sure I join each time over here. As you can see, I'm done with that particular row. And this place keeps expanding and then the back also keeps coming down. That's the effect you need before you start leveling it all to get the full dress effect. So now I think it's time for you to level it up for you to get the full length you deserve for this and then you can continue as well to get a desired length and add some edging for your dress so let me show you something this is the length i go i go about four inch for the section and the wideness about 18 inch is stretchy also now I'm going to cut off, reattach at where the stitch marker is. You have to end with a three split. You have to end with a section where you have splitted three if you want to cut off and reattach because you are separating them and working to level. And we are going to also decrease to level in the very first design. So basically, yeah, I'm just going to cut off my yarn. And you have to just improvise however you want to end, except that you have to have your three splits here, as you can see actually leave the middle the one that the stitch marker is in and you reattach this double crochet so let me just make my slip knot and reattach here because we are leveling it up and basically you are going to skip some um, sections for the leaf and actually this leaf is about to end you understand this leaf is about to end so after reattaching i'm just going to chain up four double crochet here instead of chaining two as usual just chain one place your double crochet here and then continue with your regular thing we are just trying to get a flat base and we have to fill make this slanted fill this up as well and fill the back aspect so we get a leveled wick and that's the um then we are going to achieve so the next row actually we'll be skipping if you take a look at this whole design we'll be skipping some sections there which is really vital if you want to get your slanting equal if you want to really get your slanting effects very fast so chain sorry chain two and double crochet here on top as usual continue with your regular rows chain two double crochet two times in the very first and chain up your three single crochet in the middle chain up your three double crochet two times in the last and that's basically what you're going to do till the end of the row just repeat them regularly I'll, I'll show you what to do at where we cut off the yarn and we reattach so i'll meet you exactly here i'm almost ending with this particular design so it's cool for you to start a new one as well. So I place three double crochets in the same exact space. And after that, you are going to um, chain one. Skip this chain, double crochet directly on top of where you cut off. Chain one skip this double crochet double crochet into the next chain up your regular four single crochet in the middle chain up your regular four double crochet on the very first double crochet and that's it you're going to continue till you get to this side let me show you something you actually leave the middle you will not be putting anything any stitch into the middle the very middle for the three splits so it's it's good to put your stitch marker at exactly where you end which is this side sorry this side so i'll meet you there 
you guys should take notice of something i'm getting to where i'm supposed to end and normally this is what we do you just put two double crochets in the very first one you chain up your three single crochet in the space in the middle and then in the next space you chain up your three and put your two double crochets but no that's not what you're going to do this time you are going to skip this process i just did to just get it slanted like how i did i failed to explain it well for you guys if you take a look at what we did from the beginning this is where we attached and normally you just do the one i just did but we skipped that process and we just went ahead to decrease formally to get this smaller slanting and that's basically what you are going to do for this section as well ending this ending section as well so after chaining up your two you just place your double crochet here chain up one instead of two and double crochet here just to get it slanting you understand we just need this to keep going with your work so after that you chain up your two or one remove your stitch marker from the place i normally skip a whole lot of process that's why i just prefer putting my stitch marker there always and then you put your double crochet from where you remove your stitch marker and that's it that's basically it you are getting your work to slant and so you are going this way you just chain up your four of your four to begin or your five to begin you turn over just like this and you just put your double crochet on top as usual because we need this to start your new leaf even though you'll be skipping some process to keep the slanting going after that you chain up one instead of two normally and you create your new leaf here because you ended with a double crochet on top here so just put your three um, double crochet in the same exact double crochet and after that you chain up one double double crochet two times in the first as usual how you have to do no skipping of the process this time the skipping only happens for the very first design because we would need to keep the slanting so you don't know you don't have to skip any process so you get to the end of the row but you can still skip the process in where we attach you can skip a few process in where we attach but it's not really compulsory i don't really um think it's compulsory to do that you just have to go ahead and do what exactly i'm doing and you'll be fine with this pattern which is skipping the stitches beginning and you can see that you're already getting a flat base here that's the effect we need we are filling up here we are leveling here too so that we can get the exact length we need so i'm going to repeat as usual <laughs> to the end of the row i normally keep my stitch markers there you know i always skip <laughs> so i'll meet you at where the stitch marker is so you just go around just around normally to get to where the stitch marker is which is where the yarn is also so i'll meet you there I want to give you a little demonstration from the way we cut off the middle aspect actually i mean this particular aspect you are not going to start up a new leaf there in the middle because there's a double crochet here which has been running dominant since we reattach and we are going to keep that dominant please don't make a mistake and create a new leaf there so i've actually ended this leaf part and i've already chained to normally you just um, instead of creating a little leaf, just put a double crochet there like how it has been running through since if you can see this clearly and then chain two and now you can continue with your regular design We're getting to the end of the row where i place my stitch marker i place my double crochet on top of the almost the finished uh, design here as you can see and all i did was to chain one and put a double crochet on the third space when you count from where you chain on the third chain for the last section so you are still having your flat base and you still have to decrease so the next row is going to be a chain four to begin as usual you put your three double crochets here it's really important 
in the same exact space you chain one instead of two you put two double crochets in the first double crochet for this cluster you chain up two put two double crochets in the last and continue your row just like that regularly all the way down so just continue regularly all the way down till you get to the end of the row nothing really changes for this section it's just regularly so i'll meet you i just prefer to put my stitch marker there so i'll meet you at the end of the row which is exactly here and where you place the stitch marker yeah let me just remove my stitch marker and show you something this is the last double crochet on top of the already finished leaf so you place your three double crochets over there as usual chain one double crochet on the third space for the four double crochets you did the four chains you did and you are still keeping your flat base so next option next row is to chain up five sorry chain up four double crochet two times into the very first double crochet chain one double crochet two times into the skip the middle and double crochet two times into the final double crochet you chain one double crochet on top of this double crochet which was supposed to be two double crochets in the same space but it doesn't really matter as i said some mistakes are easy to undo to um, undo here yeah. so you can either undo or continue if you make a mistake like this after that chain up three single crochet in the middle chain up three and put two double crochets in the last double crochet for this two consecutive double crochet so continue with your regular rows all the way down to get to the end of the row the end of the row what's um i ended with a double crochet as usual i'm going to chain up four we still have to make sure that we decrease to keep the straight edge so what i'm going to do is to put one double crochet in the first double crochet for the two clusters it's supposed to be two but this time just put one there chain two instead of three single crochet in the middle chain two instead of three skip this and double crochet into the last so now you are going to chain one instead of two double crochet two times into the same space chain three single crochet in the space in the middle and in the next piece so you are going to the rest of the rows the rest of the section is going to be repetition nothing different just make sure you repeat the right way as we have been repeating from the beginning and the end so i'll meet you at the end of the row so getting to the end of the row chain one after completing this section put your double crochet here just one chain two single crochet in the middle chain two double crochet here in the last two clusters chain one and double crochet in the very last one so the next session is going to be very easy we are going to skip the usual next section where we put three single crochets in the middle of the design so that's how it works you chain up four as usual turn over your work double crochet on top of this double crochet chain two skip the middle and double crochet into the next double crochet. chain one double crochet skip the next double crochet here chain two chain three single crochet here chain three chain here and continue with your regular row except that you are not going to continue this row you 
um, when you go around with your regular double crochet, you repeat the same you did here. You are not going to continue with that row again. So I'll show you what to do at the end. Now guys, I finally ended my row. I did the same here. As you can see. And the next step is to chain up 1, 2, 3, 4. This time you are going to skip this whole space. This two double crochets here. And double crochet directly on top of the following double crochet. And as I told you, you are not going to continue this um, pattern again. You just want a slanting and that's basically the technique. So however you feel, um, however technique you feel it's necessary for you to decrease, please utilize. And several ways to decrease includes um, reducing your chain and as well reducing the some sections of the full pattern so that it keeps slanting. So after that, you chain up to skip this whole pod and double crochet as usual in chain up one double crochet two times in the very first double crochet for the three sections here chain up to put two double crochets in the last and you are going to basically repeat this to the end of the row so i'll meet you at the end of the row and you still have to apply the same technique over here too at the end of the row after placing your double crochet there you skip the whole pod and place your last double crochet in the very last chain next row you chain up four to begin as i told you you are not going to continue this leaf which has ended basically but you will still put a double crochet on the middle of this new leaf which is also about to end but in the next um, row you are also not going to continue you just move ahead to the next leaf so this leaf has officially ended but we are just putting a double crochet to secure it and keep it from not bunching up too much that's the effect we need we need to decrease little by little so after putting a double crochet you just chain to continue with your regular row nothing else changes so you get to the end of the row you apply the same technique you did for this section as well at the end of the row so i'm just going to continue my sections all around towards the middle as well and i'll do this till i get to the end of the row so now i went with my regular row you can see that is beginning to fill up the back is coming down and this section is like leveling like this is the effect you are tending to achieve as time goes by and go in this direction all around so i'm beginning i'm about to end my row for this section and i told you this is a design we are about to end so i've chained two already and i'm going to put a double crochet on top and then chain one count to the third space for this chain four and then double crochet there and then chain up four again turn over your work i told you that you are not going to continue this section so after chaining four, you chain up an additional one because you are going to skip this double crochet and we don't need to continue this leaf as usual we have placed three double crochets on top but we are going to skip and move to this next next leaf <laughs> design section um, and put two double crochets in the very first one chain up three single crochet in the space in the middle and in the following space we double crochet two times in the final double crochet and that's basically it so you go with your regular rules nothing changes from here until you get to the end you are going to repeat the same exact thing what you are going to do at the end 
of this row is to finally close up this design and start a new one so this is where you are supposed to start a new leaf but you are not going to start so you end exactly with a double crochet and you begin the next row so the next row i'll show you what to do for the next row you are going to skip the exact next section that normally occurs for here so i'll meet you at the end of the row because we need to speed up the slanting more so that we get a more straighter edge here at the end of the row i ended with a double crochet as usual i skipped this double crochet because we are not going to continue this leave and i placed a double crochet in the third space for the chain four so as usual i'm going to chain up four again to begin the next row 10 and this is what is going to happen normally we just place um, a double crochet here and then chain for single crochet in the middle chain for double crochet here we are going to now skip that whole process because we need to slant the work more to get um to get the effect we deserve so we'll still put our double crochet in the second double crochet from here instead of chaining for a single crochet in here you just chain up two so we have skipped that next process and we will do the following process after the next process and after that we double crochet here and that is it that's how we are going to decrease to get that effect so the rest of the repetition is going to be regular all around so you get to the end where you are going to apply the same technique you did for the end as well so i'll meet you at the end of the row and then we begin the next row but basically if you know this technique you realize that you are skipping some sections of the whole design so that you keep your edges straight as straight as possible even though it won't be really perfect but you need to keep it as straight as possible and you also serve as a, a, a chance to fill up the back portion which you are seeing right now is filling up clearly and will soon be at the same level ended my row just like how i began i skipped that process and double crochet chain to double crochet and i place my final double crochet here so basically we are going to continue the next row by chaining four and, and as i told you whenever the leave ends you don't continue again and that's the process for this slanting so basically that's how it's going to be nothing else except the decreasing for this beginning that we split it as well so that we can fill up and level up the whole um, pattern so i chained for i pleased i'll place one double crochet here and as i told you you will not be continuing this double crochet so this is where it ends you chain up two and continue your regular double crochet this is a new um pattern we are trying to develop so just go ahead put two double crochets sorry that's sleepy here put two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the last and that's basically it nothing changes whatever you apply to this side you make sure you apply to the other side as well and i always use my stitch marker to keep that in place because i might forget so i'll meet you at the end of the row and basically you just have to improvise and make sure you decrease and just basically continue your row so i i did several rows and this was the only leave that i didn't abandon but when, as i was going by i decreased and yes it depends on how you want to decrease so i'll meet you when i'm done i'll be showing you my process throughout but i don't want to make this long because it's basically repetitive and i know you guys would find your way through because this is very easy so guys basically this is how i had to end but i couldn't end the row fully because my yarn is actually done and now basically i have to move into the edging and if you repeat this row you are supposed to end at the same level 
when you think the level is the same and then you end but since my yarn is finished i couldn't get the level to be the same so now i'm going to put a single crochet edging all around and i'll also be creating the straps for the neckline which i won't really show in the video because it will make it a lengthy process and for the back too it's necessary for you to put a single crochet edging and also clean up the edging for the neckline so i'll meet you at the end